BBC News with David Harper. An emergency meeting of the UN Security Council has heard that the situation in Gaza is becoming increasingly desperate as Israel continues its bombing of the territory. The head of the UN's humanitarian agency said the horror people were facing as they struggled to find food, water and shelter was on a scale hard to convey. The Palestinian Red Crescent has said the area around the Al-Quds Hospital in Gaza City has been under heavy bombing by Israeli forces. The organisation posted a message on social media saying there was continuous artillery and airstrikes. Israel has said it's extending its ground operations into the territory to destroy Hamas, which controls the Gaza Strip. The United States has said it is confident there will be an increase in humanitarian aid entering Gaza through the Rafah crossing at the border with Egypt in the coming days. A White House spokesman said a first phase of about 100 trucks a day had been discussed with Israel. In the first known rescue of a hostage since Hamas seized more than 200 Israelis during its violent attack earlier this month, an abducted soldier has been reunited with her family. Private Ori Megedish was freed by the Israeli military in the Gaza Strip. In other news, a New Zealand court has found that the company that runs the White Island volcano site breached health and safety regulations in relation to a deadly eruption in 2019, which killed 22 people. The judge said the Fakari Management Fakari Management Limited, which licensed other companies to run tours to the volcano, had failed in its duty to minimise risk. The remaining cast of the hit US TV sitcom Friends have given their first public reaction to the sudden death of their co-star Matthew Perry on Saturday. The actor's five fellow cast members said they were utterly devastated by the loss of their friend. Police in Britain are investigating the death of an American ice hockey player who died after his neck was cut by a skate blade. Adam Johnson was fatally injured in a collision. BBC News.